Like I said, just Dr. Buick from here, Mitch and the rest of the team, we're getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. Um, <clears throat> we've got this great plastic cannula coming in the front. You can see a metal cannula next to that. And then to the right of the metal cannula is this biceps tendon. Um, the biceps anchor is loose, so we're going to be we're going to be doing what's called a biceps tenodesis, a soft tissue biceps tenodesis, just to make sure we have that addressed. And then as we look down the front, we can see this area here that we're going to have to stabilize and reconstruct. The shoulder is very loose, which is what we expected to find, and so we're going to have to kind of reconstruct this anterior part of the shoulder, doing a lot of work right at the tip of that great cannula, putting in some anchors down there. As we look up at the rotator cuff, the rotator cuff tendon looks okay, so that's a good sign. And then we'll rotate to the back, and we can see you've got a hill sax, actually a pretty good sized hill sax lesion here. Haven't decided yet if we have to do anything to address that or not. That's something that we sometimes have to put an anchor in also. going to go off on the video for just a minute. Okay, as we look back here, we can see that this injury to the bone, what we call a hill sacs lesion, is actually pretty good sized here. Let me adjust the brightness a little bit. You can see my switching stick coming in the back, and I'm just concerned, especially since this posterior labrum is okay, posterior capsule is open, but you're missing some glenoid bone here in this anterior inferior region of the shoulder. So as we look across, you can see you're missing some bones. So the combination of missing some bone here with this hill sacs and with how loose your shoulder felt, I think we need to help stabilize a little bit here. So we're going to get that organized. We'll go off on the video for just a minute. Pause, please. Okay, so we've been preparing this posterior humeral head to place a suture anchor in it. You can place an anchor basically right about there take a little punch and make a starter hole in the bone first. Very good. And so now we're going to pass the sutures through this posterior capsule. And we'll do that using a spinal needle here in just a second. Okay, we've passed all the sutures from that anchor in the back of the humeral head, and when we pull tight on these, you can see how it's going to bring that head back nicely, just like that. It reduces it. And so we're not going to tie those now. We're going to tie those at the end. So the next step is to go ahead and get to work in the front of the shoulder. We'll go off on the video and show you some more there in a minute. Pause. Okay, so now we're looking down the front of the shoulder, and we're going to try and start freeing up this labrum so we can reattach it in a better spot here. Turn down the brightness a little bit. Okay. So this is where we're going to start focusing our efforts here. We'll try some more in a little bit. Hold this. Okay, so we freed up the anterior labrum. And 
now we're going to see about repairing it here. This is the edge of the bone on the front. really any bone in the uh, in the bank card or in the labrum part of the injury so there wasn't any bone to really repair we're just trying to repair the labrum back to what's left of the glenoid here pause okay so we've got the first anchor down we're going to take one of the sutures here out the back and then we're going to take a turn to the left hook and pass that through the uh, capsule labrum on the right pause please okay so we've got one anchor passed and tied. We've got probably two more to do. You can just see the blue and white suture in the back there. We're going to place another one just above that. Next one's going to go in. You can see the first one well now. Next one's going to go in right about here. Turn my flow and pressure book down. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the second anchor down. You can see it right there. That looks good. And now we're going to take a suture hook and make another pass. Okay, so that's good. Pause, please. We're done, we're done with the reconstruction in the front. That looks a lot better now. We've got all the sutures tied. We've got a nice wall of labrum and capsule. We're going to have a look from the back to the front to look at the biceps tendon now. Pause, please. Okay, here you can see we're passing a needle through the biceps tendon. We'll go ahead and take a grasper. this with a stitch. That looks good. Now we're going to do the same thing one more time. Just 
time we're going to load a bunch of that relay, that black wire. other side of the biceps. This way. <coughs> to retrieve the relay. And this allows us to bring that suture around the biceps tendon. So you can see here we have a push in a little bit. You can see here we have a good hold of the biceps right there. So I'll show you one more thing here. So you can see we have a good hold of the biceps. Okay, now we'll go ahead and release it. biceps secure. Pause please. Okay, we are just about done. This is the final step. We're going to tie these biceps tenodesis sutures. We've already done a bit of a decompression to take off a little bit of a bone spur off of the acromion. Your rotator cuff looks fine from this side, so we do not have to do anything to the rotator cuff. But here we are tying the uh, tying the sutures for the biceps tenodesis. Okay, so we're going to cut those sutures. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.